Hello and welcome back to the road to KSP. No, I was wrong. It's actually KSP2. Man, that's going to be hard to transition out of this. But yes, we're back at KSP2. It's the second video. Well, technically the third, but it's technically also the second. And I recorded another one in between this, but um, I found out about the new Easter egg on Minmus. And that's why we're going. We're going to Minmus Apollo style. Yes, there are SRBs on the side of this. Um, yeah, it's it's whack. Uh, anyway, we're going to visit the sort of temple thingy on Minmus. And we're also completing the uh, Mun challenge. We're, it's funny because it's like, oh yeah, do this and then... Yeah, I'm, I'm basically doing the whole Mun challenge, but on Minmus, which is one of the parts of the challenge. And then, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. So we're heading out to uh, basically deep space with our super wobbly rocket, which needs to be fixed. They need to add auto strut. Uh, it's kind of frustrating, but we're going to be going up here with our circularization burn which should be coming up fairly soon. And there we go. We are... Also, by the way, the sound design in this game is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But here we are. We're finishing up our circularization burn, and now we need to get our injection burn. I believe it's the injection burn what this is called so we need to raise our apple apps all the way up to minmus and then we will get our encounter up there near minmus so here we are uh we're starting our burn and then once we finish the burn we will be able to uh get out our lander but before then i kind of wanted to talk to you guys about ksp2 in general um, I'm seeing a lot of just anger online saying it's worse than the original and things like that. I'd love to know you guys' takes on it, but a lot of the things that I see on Reddit kind of seems like it comes from this sense of entitlement, like that you're entitled to all the features, the beginning of early access, even though the, the features are supposed to be there by the release. Um, now, it may take several years for... You know the official release but that's okay it's not right now it is actually feature comparable to the original one uh and probably within a couple months it will be truly feature comparable probably have all the same features granted some might not make it over some may not make it over in favor of different features that'll work in different ways it's kind of how i feel about this docking indicator right now um it's very unintuitive, and uh, I would love to see a change, or if someone can help me out with how the docking works, that would be amazing. But here we are. We uh, I, That's where I noticed that we have one extra person, uh, but that's okay, because that will actually allow us to finish the second half of the Mun mission, uh, which should be done by the end of the week. Because that's what we'll be doing. Uh, we'll be retrieving the other guy. And then we'll be going to, I think, the Mun to see the new Mun Arch. Yeah. So here we are. We have made it into the sphere of influence of Minmus. We're about to perform our capture burn. But here we go. And our capture burn will start about now. Except I noticed that we we had both engines burning. That's okay. Um, there we go. Uh, we are accidentally on a collision course, but that's okay because we can fix that really quick. And uh, yeah, I was basically trying to figure out how to get to the uh, crater. It's one of the craters up here. I don't see it. I was looking for it. It's not... It's not currently visible. It's in the dark side of the planet, but I didn't know that. But here we go. Uh, we are going to be 
slowing down, performing our capture burn. It was pretty quick. Actually, we already performed the capture burn. We performed a circularization burn. And uh, now the crater is barely visible. I don't notice it yet. It's up there at the top. You can see it. Yeah, but I'm being kind of stupid. I'm looking for it, but it's not there. Uh, but we will see it in just one second. Uh, I'm kind of thinking it's that one up there in the corner, and I am correct. And then I, discon I disconnect this, and then it puts me on a deorbit trajectory because of Kraken reasons, which is kind of annoying. It, like, absolutely launched the craft. Uh, I have no clue why. It's just one of those frustrating Kraken bugs. Uh, that one Kraken Slayer guy, he needs to, uh, he needs to tell us what's going on. Uh, yeah, but anyway, here we are. We're, uh, you know, slowly approaching the surface of, uh, well, Minmus. And, uh, yeah, um, we're trying to get ourself, uh, ourselves over the crater, uh, with trusty old Bob here. And, uh, yeah, I started to burn so that we could get over the crater. And there it is. There is the, uh, uh what some people are calling the temple. Um, uh, yeah, so we're slowing down so we can get over the temple and I'm going to try and land on the temple's surface area because it seems like it's embedded in a crater, as you can see right here. So I sort of like aimed myself and I went a little bit too far, but I was trying to get just in front of the eyes of this strange creature that seems to be Kerbal-like. Uh... But there is some small little features that seem to be a little bit different. And you'll see them when I get Bob out here. And we'll go up and we'll see that, look, it seems that it has some sort of like tentacle features coming out of its mouth. And uh, it seems like there's some sort of Kerbal Kraken people. Also, the statue has some, the temple thing has some sort of weird gravity. I Stabbed a, a flag up into the top of it. And then, yeah, I descended down to the hand, which is where I'll leave him, but I needed to go back over so that we can take a quick picture. Um, I took a... I, I kind of, like, orchestrated it so that it would look good. And then I fast-forwarded it, and then I noticed that the, the lander's gone. <laughs> the lander just disappeared on us. Uh, but, yeah, I uh, took the picture, and... Now, I'm going to put him on the hand, and we're going to finish up this mission uh, with the upper stage. So, here's the upper stage. Uh, we're going to... Look at how quickly that is. This is all, like, this isn't real time. It's sped up, but, like, just so quick to change vessels. Uh, but here I am. I'm doing what the flight planner tells me how to get back um spoiler alert uh it doesn't work properly yeah the fl the flight planner doesn't work properly i don't know why but every single time i use the flight planner to leave minmus it will tell me the wrong thing and then when i try to leave it will well do what it did in the last video. It launches you out of the the well, not the last video. I I haven't recorded that, but it'll it'll launch you out into the uh, the outer reaches of the uh, Kerbal system, which is kind of frustrating in uh, many 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 ways. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a slow uh, slow warp speed here. I'm pretty close to the surface, but there we go. Finally, and we're about to burn where I thought I'd be burning correctly, but it's uh, it's not true. It's all wrong. Uh, see, as soon as we leave this this sphere of influence, as soon as we leave, 
Uh, it won't be the correct trajectory. Yeah. So I had to do another another burn to slow myself down to actually get to the proper place. It's okay. We have more than enough Delta V. But yeah. Uh, now here we are. We're quickly coming in. I wanted to do a little extra burn so that you know we could land in the daylight side of Kerbin. Which is, you know, good for video purposes. But yeah, this is about the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for, you know, tuning in. And uh, yeah, if you made it this far, uh, why not comment, like, or subscribe? You can do any of these. I want to hear your opinions on how the game's going so far. What you'd like to see. What you'd like to see from the science update and things like that. Uh, yeah, I'd... Uh, Love to hear all these things, and, um, yeah, it's really just cool to have, like, people just, you know, chatting down there. Uh, but I'll see you guys, and goodbye!